Good morning. Good afternoon. I'm still alive. Glad to be on this side of the dirt. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, let me welcome you <clears throat> to this mental house. Okay? Excuse me. What I want to share with y'all today is something that I really hold very personal as a person that who have worked the elections, have been an election inspector, um, who have a had a brother, it's hard to say that, had a brother who was just serving as the inspector when he was killed back in here in November. So I pretty much know um, most of the protocol that it takes to um, be an election facilitator and you have to go through classes and um, you get to learn the ins and outs of democracy, who's supposed to be at the poll, who's not supposed to be, um, because that day you are representing, there's nobody more important on those election days than people that work the polls, okay? Um these people um, are actually in higher regard than the police officers that come there because they get to determine who walks in, who walks, who's out. Um, they get to tell who, um, you know, should be and shouldn't be in certain places at certain times. So my point is they know what they're doing. And in all these years that we've had elections, whether People were in voted like Barack Obama or George Bush Jr. Uh, we've had a chance and there's a certain check and balance that has gone on. Um, and we've been able, of course, you know, everything hasn't been flawless. But, we, but for the most part, we've been able to um, maintain a certain amount of civility. Then comes this nar malignant narcissist down the elevator and call Mexicans rapists. And I knew right then <laughs> we were in trouble. Right? A lot of y'all think that's good. A lot of y'all think that that is the way you, lead, you, you have leadership and govern over a people. But you wouldn't like it if somebody came down the elevator and and talked about all the ills that white people have done on the planet and how they are thieves and rapists everywhere they've gone. They are a, a native no place everywhere they've gone. They've raped and robbed and pillaged from the people that were the natives of the land. Nobody is talking about that. But this man has a nerve to open up his mouth and say something like that. So I knew as Americans, I knew as a person that's from the oppressed group. That this was what America breathes. This is the represent, full representation of what America has to offer in terms of whiteness, elite whiteness. The arrogant, pompous, psychotic um, bully that was Donald Trump and this whole Republican uh, madness, white supremacy uh, mindset, okay? Because y'all already know if Barack Obama had it came down that those stairs and said something like that about white people, there would have been a certain amount of black people that had been like, yeah, yeah, you know, you are absolutely right. White people are murderers. But then there's a large segment of us that would have said, no, that's not great leadership. Okay? we There are, unfortunately, I know a lot of y'all said, but I believe because, in my opinion, because we are the original people, we still have a moral compass. We're very original, and we have collectively a moral compass. And we wouldn't allow... Barack Obama to come down uh, um, and say something to that effect and think we were going to be successful. Okay? Now, America is an experiment we all know, and right now we lose it. 
Because there's this one world order, new world order that has been on the uh, horizon for a while. And I think that because the Democrats are just, you know, so gung ho about losing, I mean, winning an election. Ah, we won. Ah. They haven't done the groundwork that these Republicans, well, I should say, I don't want to call them Republicans because my, my, one of my best friends, she's not here now. God bless the dead. They were Republicans and they never would have went for nothing like this. So I want to say, there's a group of people out here that's white supremacists and they have, they have planted themselves as in the Republican party. I'd rather say it like that. And so the people that really, really know what, you know, have, you know, really, really are uncomfortable with that. They're not going to stay there. They're either going to be an independent or they're going to get out because they can see the with the voter suppression, with the threats, the lies, the intimidation, and then the, oh, the gaslighting. Oh, my God. That is what I hate. And y'all know y'all can go back and look at all my videos when we start talking about narcissism. The main thing I told you that is the most dangerous thing that a malignant narcissist does is gaslighting. And so the gaslighting now has been projected upon the whole god darn country. The whole country is in decline. It's being destabilized right before our very eyes because these people, these white supremacists, think that they really run America and that America is their country and they have been there void of all reason because even the just of white folk know that, you know, we, uh, you know, we had a point now where we need, we, we're going to have to share because we stole this from the Native American. This is not our country we they they have a sense of uh of 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 evolvement but then there's that group out there i tell you that elite group they're getting more and more psychotic as the day goes on and they got a great leader in the malignant narcissist of donald trump now what we should be doing collectively as um a society as a group is to see if we can get uh uh, uh, um, that group of psychiatrists together, people that study personality disorders, that study narcissism, and get let the people understand what is happening to their minds. Because these people, and I keep saying these people because I want you to hear what these fools did to Claire Woodall um, that's the head of the, uh, she's the executive director of the Milwaukee Election Commission. Now, they're calling, they're threatening. This has been going on all over the country. Can't y'all see it? This is a, a, a mass takeover of democracy as we know it. And y'all just sitting back thinking this shit is a game? It's guerrilla time. Or you're going to have to put some checks and balances to what's going on right now. We're about to lose it. And then you're going to see what it really is like to have a strong man running the country. It's no joke and no game that Donald Trump is a game show host. A, a freaking idiot. But he's cunning. He's a narcissist. He's malignant. Mean he don't have to give a damn. He has no feelings. He don't give a damn. That's what I'm saying. So you can take it or you can leave it alone. And I want to share something with y'all. Because it's very disturbing in my opinion. But this is exactly what has happened in American politics. And I hope I don't get flagged. One of the dangerous consequences of Donald Trump's big lie is that tens of millions of Americans mistakenly believe that he won the 2020 election. And some of them are threatening violence against election officials just for doing their jobs. Once again, here's CNN senior investigative correspondent Drew Griffin. 
Pamela, there are two things happening all across the country at an alarming rate. Both are dangerous to democracy. Threats against election officials, which are causing some to quit, and laws in more than a dozen states that change the rules on voting. We have to warn you, some of the language you're about to hear is very graphic. In Milwaukee, elections executive director Claire Woodall Vogue has been bombarded by hate ever since an extremist right-wing website, Gateway Pundit, published lies about her. You rigged my fucking election, you fucking piece of shit. We're going to try you, and we're going to hang you. We're coming for you, Claire. I really sincerely hope you get what's coming to you, you fraudulent fuck. What was your immediate reaction to what was on that machine? It's frightening because there are crazy people out there. And while it might just be them blowing off steam, I think it's clear that they believe it. And I think only someone who truly believed it would act on it. How many threats do you think you have got? I think over 150. 150 threats? Yes, I received a letter, um, very colorful language to my home, which did make me very frightened in that I have a three-month-old and a four-year-old to think about, and all because I did my job and made sure that all of the city of Milwaukee's ballots were counted. What did that letter say? Um, Am I allowed to tell you the swear words on camera? Sure. It said, you are a fraudulent cunt. A lot of the emails called me a cunt, a bitch, a whore. Um, the common threat was that no one also has any respect for women in the world. What happened in Milwaukee is happening all across the country. In Phoenix, Republican Bill Gates and his fellow county supervisors face their own threats every single day. Just uh, last Friday, uh, my colleagues and I all uh, were treated to a orange jumpsuit that a gentleman sent to us and, you know, declared that we will end up in jail someday because we are traitors. In, in no. What they are doing while Democrats are uh, sleeping and not and, and, and still pussyfooting because uh, they're taking a lot of big donor money and a lot of people uh, that are in the Democratic Party are not um, really like like Mnuchin, for instance, whatever his name, Manchin. Um, uh, uh, they are not as hmm on board with some things that the Democratic Party want to do because of their uh, donors. These Koch brothers have really infiltrated both of the parties. The money is just flowing, uh, like Donald Trump paying all those people to come and be in at the rallies and things like that. There's so much money flowing. Because, see, I know what happens when they want some, when you want a, a candidate to win, you just flow money all through there. You just... Even for the grassroots people that's out there canvassing, doing things, it's money flowing through there. They're paying people 15 to $20 an hour to uh, knock on the windows, knock on the doors, I'm sorry, and see who they're voting for and tell them why they should vote for Trump. A real grassroots campaign. Kind of like what Stacey Abrams did over in Georgia that allowed all those people to win. But see, they all, the, the Republicans already had, I should say the white supremacist groups, along with that party, already was setting up. They never slept. Thinking about how they can destroy democracy. Thinking how, because they cannot allow the wealth to be shared. They cannot allow um, democracy to prevail. So they know, a lot of them know they can't win another election. And so they've done these things. And you know what it reminds me of, people? When I used to read Anne Frank, I used to always wonder how people could have sat by and let those Jews go to it up and do nothing about it. How could they have took kids and stuff and made them Ooh, ooh, ooh. you know, made them, you know, just do things that were out of order. And you sat by and did nothing until it was too late. This is what's happening right here in America. 
we're on the cusp of a civil war and y'all don't even see it. It's funny that the scripture says you see the sky turning gray and you know it's going to rain. You see the oh, uh, 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 beautiful clear skies and you know it's going to be a sunny day. But when it comes to spiritual decadence or uh, a decay, we refuse to see the signs of the time. We refuse to see what's going on here. And um, what's going on here right now, let me tell y'all, is something that's extremely horrible. Hold on, people. You are roaming. To call your mobile carrier. Oh, this phone's killing me. Why it keeps doing that? Oh, I need a new phone. Okay, Zeus, here I come. Uh, okay, you guys. It's this kind of stuff. All right, y'all forgive me if I'm all all over the place. I had to stop. Um, Cause you already know one of my dogs love to show off as long as, as soon as I start making videos. So, I had to take a break and take her ass out. But back to what I was saying, you guys. That's why you see the planes down below. Because I'm saying either we got to put ourselves in the position of fighting this entity. Collectively, as people who reject this. And trying to save democracy. Because this is the sad part about... Uh, narcissism and malignant we need all the therapists and psychiatrists to come out right now that know what's going on that that and i'm not talking about you know those who have a political agenda i'm talking about the ones who had um a real skepticism before he was even elected there was a few they made the doctors uh, that would be against this type of energy coming along right now. They, they shut them all down. They silenced them. They've been doing a lot of stuff under the scenes that y'all don't know for the last, since Barack Obama was elected president and probably before. Okay? You already know the Russians interfered with the election with Hillary Clinton. So I'm saying at this point, if you got people who are willing to walk up to people and Snatch their masks off. Because <laughs> I wish you would snatch mine off. I have reservations about, and I don't want to, um, you know, bust anybody bubble about whether you take a, a vaccination or not. But if you don't, I would hope that you're masked. Uh, and for the good of the whole, whether you think it means anything or not. To walk around and all these people dropping dead of COVID for you to go around. That's like a, psycho a psychotic mind. The kind of people that were following Hitler. The kind of people that were following Mussolini. So this is the energy on the planet right now that um, either we're going to work hard to eradicate or it's going to eradicate us. Because the threats, the lies, the intimidation that these people are doing is now at a, a crisis high. Let me finish playing this right here because it's very important that y'all hear this. We hear this collectively. We need to hear this and quit playing because the mainstream media is nothing but the propaganda arm for white supremacy. In most cases, you have uh, people like um, Amy Goodman and you, uh, that are good journalists, good white journalists. Who try to be open and honest and um, balanced in their reporting. 
But you got these other channels like Fox that are present people like Tucker Carlson and that are doing dangerous shit to the people's mind that's already, they already dummy them down for the last 20 years anyway. So we're in trouble. In the minds of these people. This could lead to a damaging loss of experienced professionals who know how to conduct elections. A report from the Brennan Center for Justice found one in three election officials feel unsafe because of their job. Matt Masterson was the lead cybersecurity advisor for the Department of Homeland Security in the 2020 election and says it's all creating an alarming situation. Local election officials are going to leave. Uh, and then that opens the door to adding less professional, more political uh, actors into the, the election space, which it's again uh, is incredibly dangerous. Woodall Vogue says she's staying, but she closed the elections office until she can beef up security. And so it made me really concerned how powerful conspiracy theories have become, that my job would become dangerous, that election administrators now in our very well-established democracy has lots of checks and balances as now a this dangerous is strategy. The danger isn't just the They've obvious threat to violence, themselves. but the threat to democracy. Experts say Donald Trump and his Republican allies have injected enough doubt into the election process to threaten its stability. It's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. He is undermining the system in a way that is going to cause the system to deteriorate. Some Republicans are also undermining the system with new unnecessary legislation. Across the United States, Republican state lawmakers are passing law after law aimed at fixing a problem that does not exist. Mass voter fraud. This bill, I'll say it one more time, Watch how they all say the same it thing. easier to vote and harder to cheat in Pennsylvania. Watch easy this. to vote and hard to cheat. In Arizona, we want to make it easy to vote but hard to cheat. At least 18 states have enacted 31 laws with new restrictions on voting methods since the beginning of the year. The most concerning are being called election subversion laws, impacting how elections are run and who's in charge. They didn't like the fact that they lost those states. And so now they're rewriting the rules for the future, but they're doing it in a way that will make it extremely problematic. Are y'all hearing this? They make it very partisan. Former New Jersey Governor Christine Todd Whitman, a Republican, is part of a group working to safeguard U.S. democracy. What you have with local officials, secretaries of states, and others are people who are trained to oversee elections. That's their job to do that. Now what you see in these states like Texas, Arizona, Georgia, is they're starting to pull that back and put it in the hands of the legislatures, the political legislatures. Case in point, Georgia's Election Integrity Act of 2021. 98 pages long. It was signed into law in March by Governor Brian Kemp, repeating that Republican mantra. This bill makes it easy to vote and hard to cheat. Among its provisions, it strips easy power from the Georgia Secretary of State and allows lawmakers to intervene in how counties administer and count the vote. Sounds like it makes it easier for the politicians to cheat. You could have that perception. You're going to have your ID with you. Tony Adams is Heard County, Georgia's elections supervisor. Oh, I believe it's a massive power grab. Uh, the Secretary of State has been removed as a voting member of the state election board, basically tossing the Secretary of State aside for a yeah, political person. Exactly. In Arizona, Republican legislators Democracy have made their power crumbling. grab blatant, passing a law that strips some eyes. election oversight powers from the Arizona Secretary of State, currently a Democrat, and gives them to the Arizona Attorney General, currently a Republican. It expires in less than two years, making sure it's a Republican who oversees any disputes in the important midterm elections. Gates says his party's yeah. big lie about vote fraud is getting way out of hand. It's I'm worried about the people who look at this now. They've listened to their leaders, their Republican leaders, and they're now convinced that our system is corrupt, that there's this large conspiracy. And we've yet to see many Republicans speak out and tell people, no, the election was fair. It's time to move on. Enough is enough. In Texas, which Trump won, Republican legislators passed a law that bans drive-through and 24-hour voting favored in heavily minority Houston and creates new hurdles for mail-in voters. The Texas legislation also makes it a crime 
for election workers to interfere with partisan poll watchers. We're at a tipping point as a nation, uh, and our democracy is at stake. Democratic legislation. Y'all hear that? I think it's really important that you know that these people are on a quest. They've already destabilized this whole election process, if you ask me. Um, you have people who are th calling politicians on the phone. They're arrogant. They're pompous. They're not being held accountable. Uh, they're not actually um these people that are called that call on that phone each one of them should be hunted down and um prosecuted for calling government officials and threatening them then and they can find out who that is those people need to be exposed because what's happening now is so covert you know, and it is in some aspects, and then in some aspects, it's right out there in your face. Because what Texas is doing, they don't have no shame. So all I'm saying now, before I get up off here, is either y'all going to leave on a jet plane. Leave on a jet plane. Or you're going to watch this bitch crumble because it's on its way to crumbling right now. You can already see the handwriting on the wall, the gaslighting, the projection. They It, has, it has gone too far, way too far. You got people in the legislation, legislator, legislative branch making threats, opening, open threats. Got McCarthy telling uh, uh, companies that they're they better not uh, 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 obey a subpoena. Listen, the experiment of America is going to be over. I think Louis Farrakhan said it best. And I know y'all, a lot of y'all hate him, but he sure recognizes the signs of the time. And he said, either y'all can vote for Hillary and we can take a slow walk to hell because we may be able to fix some things we may but if you vote for Donald Trump you're going to hell in a rocket ship and that's what's happening y'all with the anti-vaxxers walking around snatching people's masks off to Donald Trump this malignant narcissist who still got the control of the party even though he's not even president that's psychosis. All these flying monkeys, they are working overtime to destabilize America. I want to know what y'all think. And I want to know what y'all plans are. Okay? Do y'all think that the threats, the lies, the intimidation are, are the work of psychotic people? Or do you actually think that what's happening is the way it should be? As, um, I guess, uh, 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 a punishment of how America started this country on its lies, right? Because you got people now who are so far gone, they actually think this is their country and they've forgotten all about the Native American. They have become so arrogant and full of themselves that they forgot that somebody was here before them. And they're claiming somebody else's country is theirs with their red and white hats on. We got a problem, y'all. And this is the one world order. The new world order is here. Ain't no system playing around with it. This stuff is happening all over the world. Fascism. All right, I'll see you in the next video.